Hey, what up? It's your boy Cap G, and I'm about to take you down memory lane. Yes, sir. So that picture right there is when I was showing the video, a uh, day without a Mexican song I just dropped. We was like two hours away from LA, you know, like a farm where workers go there, you know, pick on uh, agriculture and stuff. So like the song, Day Without a Mexican, it's about like just kind of pulling up immigrants, you know what I'm saying? Give, you know, just really appreciating them. And so like I had to go out there, I only been right, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I was shooting the video that day. I wouldn't even be here, like, you know what I'm saying, if it weren't for immigrants. Like, my mom and dad came here immigrant, you know what I'm saying? Had to do what they had to do. And, like, I was born, so thank God, you know, I'm a citizen. I was born in Atlanta, Grady, baby. But, like, it's definitely so, like, I'm just gonna use my platform. Cause I know it's, like, kids out there, you know, who might be going through the same thing, or they might be even immigrants themselves, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, like, to motivate, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like even, in the Latino culture and hip hop, and especially Mexicans, it ain't really like, it, well, it ain't really a lot of rappers anyway, but it ain't really people talking to those kids. So like, you know, I gotta talk about it, definitely. I would tell the new generation, like, of Latinos, like, you can do whatever you want. Like, our, our parents already sacrificed, you know, they time and, you know, they work to, so they could, you know, make us live a better life. So let's go out there, become doctors, you know, teachers, uh, entertainers, you know what I'm saying? We could do all that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's either in LA or Miami. And that's, that's like one of my first encounters with Pharrell. Like, and I remember that time, like I was just, I was glowing, like I was, I felt just like, dang, like I done did. Cause I, I mean, I was probably doing it already for like six years. So I was like, dang, like, I'm finally getting, you know, notice and stuff, like, it's for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, he rocking with me. Like, we was in the studio that day, and he was just, I don't know, for real really rock with me, you know? He rock with me just off the of strength, like, that time, like, he was really boosting my head too, like, boy, you like, hey, boy, you don't know what you got, blase, blase, you super hard, like, blase, blase, and I'm just like, I bet shit, let's go, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that shout out, shout out to Pharrell though, cause definitely like believed in me since day one. I ain't out here like trying to, trying to do what everybody else doing. Like, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm different in my own way. Like I ain't gotta go clout chase, you know what I'm saying? So like, I feel like they respect that. And in this game, like I feel like in this day of era, like that really stands out. Cause I feel like that's what everybody do right now, like to get their music heard and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like my music on top of that is dope. So that's why this shit. That picture, that's the first mixtape I ever dropped. That probably had to be like 2000 and I don't remember, 2012, 2013. But I was at the studio when I took that. At that time, I was wearing a lot of Jordans. That's why I had the Jordan shoe box. Uh, that was the demo that we bounced. Uh, I dropped it on live mixtapes, yeah, and that was that was a mixtape changed my life. So like, I'm forever appreciative about it. Yeah, all the time like I be want like quit or something, or I feel like I ain't getting the respect I deserve or something. Like I just really be thinking like about family and how how far I done came. Like, might as well keep going. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited to like just keep writing my story. You know what I'm saying? Cause at times it can be like like dang. Like, why ain't where I wanna be yet? But it's more, now I make it more fun cause it's like, it's just part of the process. Like, when I get there, I'm gonna be looking back like, like, dang, I wish I could go back so I might as well enjoy it now. So that's all I'm gonna do.